Hi everyone, Mark here from PondAlgeSolutions.com with today's Pond Q&A of the day. Today's question is, is algae bad for a pond? To start off, we need to remember that algae is one of the oldest life forms on Earth, and it is a natural part of a pond's ecosystem. It's actually extremely foundational to the development of a healthy pond, because Planktonic algae in particular, these are single cell algae. They're an important part of the food chain. They're fed on and feed microorganisms, zooplankton, and these critters are actually fed on by fish, which are fed on by larger fish. And so from a very foundational point of view, algae is a necessary component of a healthy aquatic ecosystem like this. When you see planktonic algae in a pond environment, you may see different colors, hues of green, brown, or red. And these should be relatively light. If they start to get dense uh, coloration to them, very soupy, very thick, that's indicating maybe things are starting to get a little bit out of the balance and you are experiencing a bit too much of a growth, which some people can see in the summer months. But uh, the other type of algae that you will see come along is called filamentous algae or string algae. And this, as it shows in the picture, is a different looking growth altogether. Uh, it is not tinting the water. It's an actual mass uh, growing in the water. It usually starts from the bottom and then columns up and spreads across the surface like this uh, growth in the picture. But filamentous algae is not as much a part of the food chain as planktonic would be so the the small single cells are much more desirable and although filamentous can provide some habitat in other words small fish can use it for cover and protection uh, breeding fish can certainly benefit from it a bit but there's no real benefit or no strong benefit to the food chain with this type of algae and most people find it very problematic and annoying quite frankly when they're trying to recreate in a pond and so with most anything, too much of a good thing can be a problem. And there's a few issues that come with abundant algae growth. We need to consider why algae is growing so prolifically in the first place. And that always comes down to nutrient levels, uh, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But understand that the effect that that algae has on a pond environment can be dramatic. One of the things that I get concerned with, with abundant plant matter growth, and this could be aquatic weeds or algae, is the effect that they can have on dissolved oxygen levels in the water. During the daytime period, when the plants are experiencing photosynthesis, they will actually release oxygen into the water, but at night the reverse is true. They will start to pull oxygen from the water, and this can definitely be problematic on uh, or for fish during the hot summer conditions because the pond may not have a lot of oxygen to work with to begin with and then when you get an oxygen crash because of this plant uh, being present you can find that overnight you can lose a lot of fish just from an oxygen crash so the plants have a definite role to play in that and minimizing their density I guess you would say can definitely help stabilize dissolved oxygen levels in a pond now many blue-green algae, which are also single-cell algae, these can produce odors. So you may see some coloration to the water and you may have some bad odors coming out. That also could be part of the, the sediment buildup, the muck layer down at the bottom that you're experiencing. But 